right guys, I'm gonna do a short stream today and show you how to make basements. I'm going to be doing them in early Strange Town and early Pleasant View, both by Guto Simmer. So let's get into it. I already did a couple of houses in early Pleasant View on a live stream about 10 days ago. So, but I decided to do a, like a standalone stream just on basement. So let's just do um, Moenda, which is Olive's house. I'm just a little nervous. So I'm not going to actually be playing the families. Now in some instances I might have to make the house base a little bigger in order to make the the basement bigger. You know I might have to add a wraparound porch or, or make it the house itself a little wider. Because some of the houses in this town are very skinny, and skinny houses don't make good basements, so. <laughs> this probably isn't going to be the only tutorial that I do. I'll probably do other neighborhoods as well. I'm just going to start with these two. Okay. Keep it paused. So this is, uh, I'm not going to worry about the roads because I, like I said, I'm not going to be actually playing this family. Anyway, as you can see, there's no, nobody buried yet. <laughs> uh, well, actually there are a few, there are a few graves here. There is the pony, Laredo, Blue, Earl. But there's no graves here. Interesting. Oh, and there's graves here. Oh, okay. I see what's happening. You know what I think? I think that because uh, because this is a subhood, I think the graves were moved off lot and then back to this lot. If that makes sense. Because you're supposed to run the hood checker before you start a new hood to make sure that the graves are where they're supposed to be. But anyway, the graves are supposed to be here. But, I mean, they're, they're not all here because she hasn't killed everybody yet. So, <laughs> in theory. Anyway, let's get to it. This, this house is going to have a pretty big basement compared to some of the other houses. So what you want to know is the, the keys page up and page down. Page up goes up a level, and then you've got page down, goes down a level. So you're going to have to know that trick in order to do uh, basements. So we're going to go down to the very uh, bottom level, which is going to look like this. Now you don't have to fill out the entire basement, like you don't have to do the entire foundation. You could just do one small area, like, like a rectangle. But I'm going to fill out as much as I can. Now the important thing you have to know is you have to leave one tile, at least one tile around the perimeter. There needs to be one, one tile around. And I'll show you what I mean. All right, so pick the foundation, hold down the control key because we're gonna be deleting the foundation. And don't worry about the fact that there's furniture and people up here. You don't have to have anybody go go out onto the sidewalk and wait. You don't have to move out the furniture. Nothing's going to happen to to any of that. So anyway, you're going to hold down the control key and you're going to get rid of your foundation. But again, again, you have to leave one tile around the perimeter of, of this area. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, you can actually go, I'm going to do this. We can't go any farther than that. Well, actually, that's not true. We could probably go up to here. It might be a little problematic, but... <coughs> but anyway, we'll stop right here. Just to be safe. Now, I know this is a weird-looking shape. Uh, the other thing you need to know about basements, you don't have to use... It, like, once you make the basement, you don't have to use every square inch of the basement. You can actually wall off some of it and put, like, a pipe in there. You know those pipes that came with apartment life? 
you can wall off some of it and have it, have it be like an empty space. Anyway, this would make a good bathroom, I think. I think you could stick, you know, two fairly small, like three by four bedrooms down here. Like a three by four here, two of them, or maybe a five by, yeah, three by five. And have like a little family area and this could be their shared bathroom. It's not a huge basement, but you could stick a couple of small bedrooms down here. It's not a huge house. So there is a bedroom here for Nervous. And of course this is her bedroom. Anyway, let's get back to it. Uh, okay, so once you carve out the foundation, this is what your basement's gonna look like. You go to wallpapers. Pick a wallpaper with a baseboard. I always pick this one by habit. But you can pick anything with a baseboard. I like to put three of them up here to make sure that the ground is actually level. Because if you just put one, it's not. It's it's a little more difficult to tell that it's completely level. And you're going to use this tool. By the way, uh, the foundation has to be a standard height like the, the default height of a of, of foundation when you when you first put it down. If it's higher or lower, you're going to have to use the elevation sheet to make it the standard level, if that makes sense. We found that out the hard way when I did um, uh, Br yeah, Brandy's trailer, because in early Pleasant View, her trailer is slightly above normal height. Oops, look, I went a little bit down there, but that's okay. We're going to even it all out. So what you're looking for is the bottom of the baseboard. You don't want to go any lower than that. So if I was to go down here like this, that would be too low and it wouldn't work. The other thing you should know is that once you make a basement, you can actually like one level of a basement, you can go down to a second level. So once you make this basement, you can actually go down another level, like all the way down to the bottom of the next baseboard and go down two levels. I don't know if you guys remember, but in the vanilla downtown, um, the house where the tree coop family used to live, the house of fallen trees has like three level sub basement where the two coffins are at the very bottom. Uh, for those of you who remember that. So yeah, you can go down as far as the game will let you. Now in Veronaville, the original Veronaville, you, most of the houses can't even have one basement you hit water immediately. The only place that's safe to make basements is uh, on elevated, the, the uh, houses that are elevated next to the river. But, the, but uh, the Cap Manor and all the other houses, you can't, even though they're on a foundation, you cannot make basements there because it's at sea level. So you, the minute you go down, you would hit water right about here. So, you know, so, but if, as long as you don't hit water, you can keep going down as, as long as you can. Now, each time you go down a level, it's going to, the, the basement's going to get smaller and smaller and smaller. So you are limited how far you can go down. Anyway, uh, let's go back to smoothing this. So what you want to do is you want to make it level all the way to the edge. Like that. Now you see how it's on a slant here? That's what you're looking for. You want that slant. Now sometimes when you're making basements, you have to temporarily delete stairs or tiles or bushes. So if you're having issues, that might be the issue. So don't panic. Just try removing something. I might have to move these stairs. I might have to delete tiles. I hope not, but you know, it's not the end of the world if that happens. So anyway, you're going to pick a carpet or a tile or linoleum, anything you want. I'm just going to probably pick this stone because that's probably where we're going to go with anyway. It's kind of dark, but uh, we're only doing this so we can see where to put the walls. This house is pretty straightforward. It's a little tricky in this area. But you have to put flooring down here eventually anyway. So we're going to get rid of the outside perimeter of the foundation again. Again, we're going to hold down the control key, take out the perimeter so we can put the walls in. This is temporary, of course. We're going to put it back in. And 
Now, because we're not getting rid of all of the foundation, we're leaving this foundation, we don't have to worry about um, losing the foundation paint, which we covered in the live video I did about 10 days ago. So there is a trick. Let's just pretend we have we are getting rid of all the foundation. So if you're going to get rid of all the foundation and you have a custom paint on your foundation, you're just like, I'm never going to find that in my collection again. Like it's going to take me forever to find it. Uh, just build a one by one foundation temporarily. Take the eyedropper tool, click on this and, and do that so that you don't have to go searching for it. I mean, in this case, it, it's, it's a moot point because we have this, but let's, but we're just pretending that that's not there. And this is like a custom wallpaper that you just downloaded and you've got so many wallpapers, you're just like, oh, I'm never gonna find that again. So anyway, let's go back to this. All right, so now we're gonna put the drywall in. All the foundation's gone. Hi, Cupcake, how are you? I'm just doing a quick tutorial. I'm not gonna be on for very long. Okay. So we're just gonna go around where the tile is. So now we have a basement. We have to put the foundation back in. The thing about foundations is that they were broken in apartment life like so many other things. So in free time, every time you would put a section of um, foundation back, it was there was no problems. But now after apartment life, what happens is every time I put in a section of foundation, it goes up one level to the main floor like that. So you need to keep your, fin uh, your index finger on the page down key. And every time you put in a section, a foundation, you have to go page down like that. You're just going to go around the perimeter and put the foundation back. Ooh. You see how it's turning red here? When it turns red, don't panic. Because I started it at this corner. Let's start it at this corner and see if it works better. See, see, it, it's fine when I started at this corner. It just didn't like it when I did it from this corner. So if you see red, don't don't panic. Just try from a different perspective. Now these stairs might be an issue. Oh, it didn't like it when I started here, but when I started from here, it was fine. here hold on that might be an issue see this bay window bay windows can be a little tricky oh it's fine it's fine it's going up to it it's yeah bay windows can be a little tricky also angles can be tricky but until we actually run into a house like that, um, it's kind of hard to explain. So anyway, there's our basement. So we could have an outside entrance or an inside entrance. Uh, we're gonna go with inside, but we have to figure out where, uh, the other thing is we have to put the floor back. We also have to figure out where the stairs are gonna be. Now, obviously circular stairs take up less room, less of a footprint. And if you're going to use regular module stairs, you might want to do like uh, an L-shaped staircase. To save on room. Oh, that is a different floor. Not that it matters too much. Oh, let me get caught up in chat here. Some cool mod dropped food stick. Yes, I saw that in Discord. That looks really interesting. I'm gonna download that. So with Sims 4 cooking can work in food stands from Oh, okay. Well, that's gonna be kind of a game changer in my opinion. It amazes me how, how many people still work on making mods for this game. It's just like a true testament to the game and how much love and passion they put into this game so anyway uh the floors are back oop 
I missed one and I missed one tile in the kitchen. So as you can see, nothing happened to Willow or nervous subject who's a toddler right now. They're perfectly fine. The the furniture didn't sink to the basement. So you don't have to worry about that. So remember I said we we're gonna pretend that this this is a like a a custom wallpaper that you just downloaded and you're just like, huh. Oh. And you've got like a thousand wallpapers in your collection. What you do is you just take the eyedropper and then just reapply it. Go all the way around the house and just reapply it to the foundation. You have to go all the way around too, by the way. Just double check. There we go. So anyway, and then all you have to do is just delete that at that point. You don't need this anymore. So anyway, um, all right, so where are we gonna put the stairs? When I played this house, um, what I did was I put it here, but I had to move some things around. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna open up this wall, and I'm gonna open up this wall. And I opened up this section, and I think I moved everything over this way. And then I got rid of that and that, and I'm pretty sure I put all of the, I'm gonna have to get rid of that door. I think I put all the chairs this way. Hmm. That's very interesting. Yeah, it's supposed to have three on this table. Not sure why that's happening. I think this is, oh, because they moved it. They moved this off grid. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this over here. Let's see if I can do this. I'm gonna have to get the quarter tile placement up going. Here. I'm just sort of eyeballing it. Well, that wasn't it. Is it a little closer? Maybe it's too far away. I have to make sure that they slide in. There we go. All right. So anyway, um, I think I put an archway here. I'm just gonna put like something there. And that's, that's how they got into the kitchen. So I had to make the kitchen a little bigger and delete a few things and get tear down some walls. And I think the entrance to the stairs was here. So what I could do, and it never it never became an issue. Nobody ever would stand at the top of the stairs to go down while somebody was trying to come out of the kitchen. So that was never an issue. We could also probably put the entrance to the kitchen maybe here. Is there something on this wall? Yes, there is. Put that over there. So we could put this maybe on this wall which make it a little easier for the stairs, you know? And the reason why the stairs have to start here is because if we start them over here, it will slam into this wall right here. So we need the, the bottom of the stairs to come out in this direction. That's why they need to start up here. So it really doesn't matter where the entrance of the kitchen is. It, it's kind of irrelevant, but anyway, you could still keep it here and start the steps here. So anyway, we're going to do this. And we might have to delete this chair and possibly this tile, which we can put back later. But modular stairs can be a bit of an issue. Sometimes you have to delete walls to put them in and delete. I might have to delete this wall and this wall just to put the stairs in. I mean, you guys know the pain of putting in stairs. <laughs> I don't have to remind you. Anyway. 
If you really want to work your way around it, you could just use an actual dedicated staircase like this. I don't know. Hold on. There we go. There we go. Pretty sure. Yeah, we could do that. But I'm going to show you what this is, the process looks like when you've got modular stairs. Circular stairs would be good too, but I'd probably have to... Oh gosh, circular stairs, it would be a bit of an issue. I would probably have to move this table over a little bit this way and maybe turn this entrance into a single arch and move it over a little bit and then put the circular stairs. Because as you know, circular stairs take up a two by two square. So this whole dining table would have to move over. This would have to become a single arch put here. And then you'd have to squeeze in a circular staircase there. So anyway, let's, let's try it with the modular stairs, which is what I originally did when I played this household. We're gonna go with cement stairs. And you see how it says can't place step? Let's try getting rid of that. See if that helps. I know that I've done this before. I might actually have to get rid of this wall, to be honest with you. See this wall right here? I might actually have to delete it. Nope, that wasn't it. I might have to delete these walls. Is it this one? Can't play step. Is it the lamp? I know that there's, you know what? It could be the mirror. There's nothing else down here though. And there's nothing in, in the way of the bottom step. I might actually have to get rid of this, this wall. Why do steps have to be such a pain in the air? <laughs> I don't know, maybe it's the table? I'm not sure what's going on. We might have to just go with a, like a, like a staircase, you know? Let's just go with a regular staircase. I have done this before though, in this house. And I remember having to knock down a lot of walls <laughs> in the process to put in a modular staircase. Oh, maybe it's because I was using the open staircase. This is, a, this is a scriptorium staircase. It's an open staircase. Maybe if I use the vanilla one, it'll be different. I don't know. Let's try that. This is going to be one of those uh, things that bugs me now. But anyway, uh, I'm just going to use one of these staircases. Screw it. It can't be done, though. You just have to fiddle around with it. I'm just not in the mood. <laughs> All right. Like I said, you could technically put this here with the move objects cheat. And that's where I had it before. And I think it's doing this because of the lights. I'm not sure. I think it's just because this is this is here. But when the but most people play like this anyway, so you could have it there and they will walk through it. I mean, some of us have houses like that where the archways are are look like they're walled up and they're not. So anyway, that's the staircase. That's how they get down. So now because this has walls down here, I can bring the walls up. There we go. 
Uh, yeah, we can make this the bathroom. And we can make this like a like a like a negative space. We could put pipes in here from you know those uh, those water pipes from uh, apartment life. And so this could be just like a negative space, or maybe you could put like a, the nectar bar in here, or a bookcase, or something like that. But you don't have to utilize every single part of the space. So we could squeeze in a couple of small bedrooms or a large bedroom, like a really big bedroom like that. Or we could split it into two. But those are pretty decent sized children's bedrooms and the rest could be just like a downstairs rumpus room for the kids. Um, yeah, you could put like a little area for a TV and we could keep this like an area for the adults. So if she ends up having lots of kids with Ichabod, this will be, you know, this will give them a lot of extra space. And this will be the shared bathroom that they have down here. We can even stick a washer and dryer in this little corner. So it could be like a, a combination bathroom, laundry room. Anyway, so we're done with this house. Oh, oh. And the other thing is, uh, you don't have to put up a railing here. I don't know why people think they always have to use a railing. You can just put up a half wall. Uh, let's use this half wall. I'll go with the red. You could do this. Oh, you see what it's doing? See what it's doing? It doesn't want to... Uh... That's why I used the modular stairs before. Because that happens. I'm going to get rid of this couch. Put the phone here. So they're going to have to go all the way around. So this little tiny thing. I might actually, you know what I would do in this situation? I think I did this before anyway. I would do that. And then I would make this hallway a little bit bigger because this is a large master bedroom, you guys. Look how big her room is. Actually do this, move this over a little bit. Get rid of that. Put this over here. things that you can do to make it work for you. Get a little privacy in there. Uh, look, it looks like all the doors are look like they're uh, walled up because she's putting there are these these over the doors for an aesthetic look. There we go. See? Now if these were modular stairs I've I, when I did have modular stairs, I was able to put um, a half wall right here. It, I do remember it was a little tricky, though. So it took me a while to figure it out. I had to pretty much destroy all the walls. And I think I probably got rid of this window. And maybe this light on the wall was being an issue. I don't know. But you basically have to tear down all the walls, get rid of a lot of tiles and quite possibly got rid of the wall behind the staircase. And I think the fact that I was using an open modular staircase that's in scriptorium was not helping as well. But anyway, we had to also tear down a lot of walls to get this to work. So it looks like in order for them to go down the stairs, they're gonna have to go around the table, like here. So I actually probably would move this table and do it the other way if I was to play this house. Oop. Put this over here. Yeah, I'd probably do that. I think it would make more sense. Because it looks like he was trying to line it up with the front door. I put this, now that we got rid of this, we're gonna get rid of this balcony. It's kind of silly that there's a balcony here.
we get rid of that, we can put this, is this lined up with the front door? Not that it matters. Yes, it is. Okay. And then I would just put the chairs all the way around like that. That's what I would do. And that way they can actually go around this way to get downstairs. You don't have to take the long way. That's probably what I did before anyway. And you're going to have to actually turn this into a single frame and put it over here because you can't have an archway behind dining chairs. Which means this bathroom right here is going to have to get reconfigured. Because you can't have this door right here. Sorry, Olive, I'm going to move you over here. Uh, this door is going to have to go here, which means that sink, the sink is going to have to move and all that. So I'll probably make the bathroom bigger by moving furniture around in here. You know? Like, I would probably make this part of the bathroom. I put the sink here and then keep the door here. Anyway, you can't have an archway behind these three chairs because you're going to have to put three chairs here. The archway has to go there. So you just have to move things around a little bit when you put in basement stairs. So anyway, we're pretty much done. Unless somebody has any questions. Twenty consecutive streams. Wow, <laughs> that's pretty good. All right, which house are we going to do next? Like I said, a lot of the houses in early Strange Town are either too skinny or they're very small. And small houses make terrible basements. Let's go into Tech 9. His house. That's what we used to call. I know some of you call him by another name, but uh, I remember back in the day, everybody referred to him as Tech 9 in the message boards. So anyway, he will forever be called Tech 9. Anyway, this is supposed to be his house early on before he expands it so i guess if you were going to play this family you could either download uh another lot that is like a remake of his original house so it's a little bigger with a pool in the back or you could just slowly build it up yourself by going into lot adjuster and giving him extra room this way and that way and in the back so you can just as his family grows uh his house grows you know that kind of thing but that's what his house is supposed to look like at the beginning. So if you want to like basically copy it the way it is in the vanilla game, you could eventually do that, I guess. Anyway, there he is in the house. This is going to be a very small basement. Like that's, that's so small, I don't even know if it's worth it. In order to make this a bigger basement, I would suggest making this porch a foundation porch. I know some people really like having this lattice work on their porch, but if you want a bigger basement, you're gonna have to do that. Also, moving these stairs out would help as well. So that's what we're gonna do. And in, in order to make this a nice basement, that's what we're gonna do. So we're gonna turn this into a foundation porch and lose the lattice work, unfortunately. We're going to make fill that in with foundation. Because otherwise the basement's just gonna look weird. And you can put the steps back if you want to. So you have access to this, you know, from the porch to the side. Is the perfect house or basement at least in street chat? I, I agree. I agree. So anyway, as you can see, because we filled in the back porch and we moved the stairs out, the basement actually looks halfway decent now. And we're going to actually move the stairs out this way. We're gonna add, in, add some foundation here. And do the same thing. We're just gonna add these. Oop! There we go. You just have to make a few changes when you add basements. See, now you look at, you're like, okay, that's a decent basement. We could do something with that. So, again, foundation tool. Hold down the control key. We're just gonna do a basic rectangle. Because if I do this, it's going to look silly, right? That, that's what, what can you put there in a basement? Nothing. So we're just going to not do that. As you can see, there's Tech 9. He's perfectly fine. Nothing's falling to the ground. All right. All paper. 
We could do a different wallpaper. Let's do um, anything with a baseboard. Do this one. I prefer baseboards that are dark because it's easier to just see. Now, he's not going to be able to put a lot of stuff down here, but eventually, like I said, you can build his house out. As his family grows and he makes more money. And as that happens, you can make the basement bigger. You just want to double check to make sure you didn't go past, past the baseboard. And you're gonna smooth this out all the way to the edge. Now, we're just gonna pick whatever's up here. You can change it later. I mean, this is a pretty straightforward base, but you don't really need to put down tile right now to put down the drywall. It, 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 it only really matters in, um, oh wait. I'm going to do this, if I can. I'm going to have to put this back here. Oh, there we go. We're going to pretend this is a rare wallpaper and we'll never find it again. <laughs> Even though it's not. All right, because we are going to get rid of most of the foundation. Anyway. Let's, get, let's uh, get rid of the outside perimeter. Hold down the control key. Now, because this is a straightforward rectangle, we're gonna use this tool and just do that. And then we're gonna put the foundation back. Again, you have to keep your index finger on the page down key. Don't forget, sometimes you might you might have to get rid of stairs temporarily or bushes or flower beds. It depends on how disagreeable your uh, game is being. Okay, so there there it is. There she is. We're gonna do this eyedropper thing, put the foundation back, go all the way around the house to make sure it's everywhere and it's not. Don't assume that it goes all the way around the house because it almost never does. Okay, now we can get rid of this. And then we have to replace the floor upstairs. Okay. I think this is the same on the porch. I think that this wood here, yeah, this is the same wood. delete this little that little thing because we moved the stairs out so it kind of it's silly that those are there now anyway there's the house oh hold on let me just do the back porch i need to be thorough so oh in the kitchen did not do the kitchen all right so everything is back now where are we going to put these stairs it's a small house so we might have to do an outside entrance Right now, there's only one bedroom and one floor. There should be a second floor, you know, because it's the Smith house. But it's in its early development. It's an early stage. He hasn't expanded yet. Um, we could probably do a circular staircase. You know what? My gut instinct is that outside, outside entrance for the time being. I missed a spot. I think we should do an outside entrance, honestly. And it should be in the back here. And that's what we're gonna do. And I'm gonna have to delete these trees. I can't see what I'm doing. We're going to actually do that. And flatten this out. All right, so this is where the entrance is gonna be. Until he makes his house bigger, you could also go into lot adjuster, give him extra room this way and this way, 
and you know make the house bigger or you could just download a um like a, a new version of it because there's so many versions of the of the smith house out there in the sims 2 lot database which is overseen by Plumtails, i believe i think that they are the ones that control that database and there's a lot of smith houses to choose from I think that's what I did when I originally played Early Strange Town. I think I deleted this house and downloaded one that looked almost exactly like their original house, but it was so it was so much nicer inside. A small basement laundry. Oh, that's nice. I'm using a throwaway Strange Town to use AJ Loner as my new multi PT model. Ooh, he would make a good PT mod test subject. Anyway, outside entrance. Um, I'm gonna probably put the front entrance here. So in order to do this, we're not gonna do use the Lord Crump's window welds. We're gonna use T Budget's retaining walls for this. So we're gonna use the low poly retaining walls, not the high poly ones, because those can crash your lot. So there's two different things you need to get. You need to download T Budget's low poly retaining walls from MTS, and you have to. And for the window wells, you should use Lord Crump's window wells that he made just recently. Anyway, this is where the stairs are going to be. I think we're going to have the door here. And we'll have like the front entrance here and we'll put the retaining walls here. It'll just barely fit the lot <laughs> in the back. <laughs> All right, let's put a door in. We'll put this door in. What? Let's get some more light in here. I'm going to use a French door to get some more natural light in here. There we go. So it looks like we're not going to be able, well, we could put a cup, like maybe two bedrooms down here, two small bedrooms. I would probably just put one bedroom and a, and a bathroom. Because uh, he's not even married to Jenny Smith, that she's still a teenager in this in this game. And when I played Early Strange Town, he turned out to be bi, and he married uh, Kristen Lost's father, Artie Lost. So he ended up marrying a, a dude. So <laughs> he didn't even marry Jenny. Curious, she married somebody else from college. I don't even remember. I thought it was just so funny. All right, let's just give them some cement here. Just plain old cement. Okay, we're gonna do the modular stairs, but we're not gonna do the, the ones that are open underneath, because I think those are causing issues. We can actually move this forward a little bit. Let's, let's just move this forward a tiny bit. Try this again. Oh, no. Ugh. There we go. I'd like the stair bottom to be like right here. So now we have a two by two square, which to me looks nicer. We're gonna take this and we're gonna smooth this out. Okay, that's as smooth as it's gonna be, I think. So now we're gonna go, I'm trying to think. T budget's retaining walls are in deco, I believe. Lord Crump's window wells are in build mode. So they're in completely different parts of the catalog. I'm trying to remember. It's not under counters. Oh, here they are. So they're under surfaces, miscellaneous. So we've got, here's the T-budget retaining walls. We've got the low poly retaining walls, straight, no fences. We have corner, no fences. 
and quarter three sides. So we're going to use just the straight all the way across. Now these are kind of a pain in the ass to. Actually, no, I'm going to do a corner on this one. These are kind of a pain in the ass. I'm not going to lie. Now you can change the color. Oops. You can change the color of the top part as well as the wall. And I'll show you a straight, I'm gonna use a straight piece to show you what I mean by that. Somebody also made extra colors for um, the wall as well. Okay, now you're just, it's, it, it's a pain in the arse, I'm not gonna lie. So even though Lord Cross did window wells, I still, oh my God, you're being a real bitch today, aren't you? I think this corner one is just being very disagreeable right now. So maybe I should use straight ones all the way across. So, oh, there we go. See, it was the corner one. I would just use, I would recommend you just use the straight pieces because sometimes these can just be not work the way they're intended. So I would not use these for window wells, which is what I used to do. I would use definitely recommend the Lord Crumps ones. Okay, so now that those are in, you can actually put flower beds and bushes on here. You can also turn these into cement. So as you can see, it, the default is this dark red brick, but you can change that. There's all these different colors that you can use. I prefer this one or this one, or this one. So these three are my favorites. But there's actually more. And these actually go with, uh, so th this one's good too. This one's really good. And you can change the top as well. So I don't know if you can see this. I'm going to... this. There we go. This is a little bit better. So most of them resemble dirt because you're sort of meant to put either rose bushes or flowers on here. You don't have to. That's kind of dry, dead grass. So yeah, it's mostly different types of uh, dirt and grass. Although there's a few here that that's supposed to be sand. And that's of course cement. So there, there's a few here and that's cement, kind of like gravel. I guess it's supposed to be gravel. But I usually just use the default dirt and I put flowers on them. And let me just go back to what this originally was because I'm too lazy to actually change the colors because I'm not going to actually play him. So anyway, yeah, uh, now putting flowers in is a bit tricky, just like putting the retaining walls in are a bit tricky. So also I took out the default replacements that, um, I forget who did them, TV Vicky Sims. I took them out. I'm going to use... She just, I think she just uh, uploaded a set that are not default replacements. They're just extra, extra bushes, extra trees. Because I just, I didn't like them as defaults. They were too large. So I went back to my regular flowers. Because that's what I'm used to. Now, you see how it do, it's not going in because I placed it right over? You sort of have to place it from afar on an angle. Oh, do oh, you see that? It's snapping into place. Sometimes you have to change the angle a little bit. You see, you see what, where the green box is? It's like far away. So anyway, you get the general idea. So yeah, that's what you're supposed to do. And then, of course, you could put up a little fence if you want. A little wrought iron fence so people don't fall into the flowers. It doesn't have to be wrought iron, but let's not let's not put in wrought iron. Let's just do this. There we go. Or you could just do cement too, and have like a patio here. Anyway, regard. This is also a good idea for an at-home business, uh, so people don't go traipsing through your your house if, if you're selling something. They'll just come down through here. 
Anyway, uh, so yeah, you could put, let's just see what, what we could put down here. They're gonna need a bathroom. We could probably put in, it's not gonna be a huge bedroom. Three by four, maybe? We could do a three by five, and this could be their little, their little bathroom. And the rest could be, you know, their own little, uh, a little kitchenette. Like when Johnny, be if, if Johnny is born, if he does hook up with Jenny, and, and they have a Johnny, <laughs> and when he becomes a teenager, he can be kicked down into the basement. <laughs> or they could have an at-home business. Jenny could, like, make quilts or something. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> anyway, that's an outside entrance with the retain the T-budget retaining walls. Now, you can technically use the new Lord Crump's um, window wells for an outside basement. It's a little trickier. Like, it, it can be done. I'm gonna have to fool around with it a little bit more to make it work the way I want it to. But for the time being, this I'm just gonna stick with the T-Budget low poly retaining. Now, if you get the high poly ones, they have built-in fences. And the fences would be placed here. So instead of having the fences on the outside, the fences would be on the inside if you had the high poly retaining walls. That's why they're high poly, because there's more to it. They're more complicated. <laughs> but like I said, you don't have to put flowers here. You could make this cement and make it like a patio or whatever. Anyway, um, so that's that house. We had to make a few changes. And for the time being, we had to put an outside entrance. I think eventually if we were to expand this house with the lot adjuster on either side and make the house bigger, we could have an inside staircase, probably a circular staircase. That's probably what I would do. I would make the porch a little bit bigger and I'd put the circular staircase probably over here. Anyway, that house is done. Go on to the next house. Okay, so you get the general idea. If it's a small house, it's gonna be a small basement and you're probably gonna to have to do an outside entrance until the house ex is expanded or use a circular staircase, squeeze it in somewhere. So these houses are gonna be the same same deal, if you, if you know what I mean. Uh, here's the Spectre house. This is where Ichabod is living. So you can either have Olive move into this house with Nervous or you could have him move into Olive's house. Cause this house is pretty nice. He's got a pretty nice setup here. All right, so this is his house. All right, so we're probably gonna have to turn that into a foundation. But yeah, he's gonna have a much bigger base, a really big base, especially if we make part of this a found this. Uh, part of this deck foundation. I think I would probably only make this part foundation and, and keep this lattice work for aesthetics. Or we could go up to there and it still looks like the porch is made with, um, it's like, uh, like it's, uh, it's, um, you know, has an underneath part because it shows lattice at the front and you can barely see the foundation behind the lattice. So if you still like the lattice work for aesthetic reasons, you could still bring the foundation right up to this point and it still shows lattice and you're like, oh, it's a, it's a lattice porch. No, it's mostly foundation, just a little bit of lattice. <laughs> so I could have a bigger basement basically. So now the basement's gonna be really huge. So control key, hold it down. Yeah, he could stick all, he could stick Nervous down here. <laughs> we're going to actually go into this. We don't have to, but we're going to. And I'm not going to do this because there's no point doing that. This will probably be the one of, I think I might do one more house in Early Strange Town. It's probably going to be the big house. The house that eventually becomes the Beaker house. Right now, it is not the Beaker house, it's the Salome house. I'm just gonna stick with this wallpaper. 
I've been using this one for more than a decade. <laughs> I think I learned this technique from one of the, the Sims 2 websites that used to be really popular that closed, shut down years ago. I don't remember which one. I don't know if it's Symbology or Paladin's Place or something, but it was a step-by-step -step instructions. That's where I got this from. I think it was back in 2006. Anyway, this is, this is where, that's where I got the technique, this technique. Now, I know some people like to use the stair technique, where you put the modular stairs and you build three modular stairs, which I didn't even know that was the technique until recently. I thought everybody, I thought everybody knew this method. Because I learned it from, a, uh oh, I went down too far. Because I learned it from an old website, so I just assumed everybody else learned it. All right, that's even. Go all the way to there. All right. All right, what flooring is he using up here? Not that it matters. I will just use that one. I do this. this oh, don't forget I'm holding down the control key when I'm doing this. Um, I'm pretty sure he's using the same, no, he's not using the same foundation as, as, as the walls. So I'm going to do this. I thought he was using this wallpaper. He's not. Anyway, it's a good thing I caught that because I don't know where, I don't know that wallpaper. <laughs> So far, I have not had to get rid of any stairs or anything, any tiles or anything like that, which is weird. I'm just going to follow the flooring. Oh, well, we're just going to have to give him money, aren't we? There we go. Normally, when I'm playing in an Uber hood, I don't like to charge families for a basement. I feel like the basement should have already been in the house when they bought the house. That's just me. All right, now we're going to put the foundation back, the outside part. Let's try this again. One finger on the page down key. Did it right yeah i think i did it right all right i'm gonna put the floor back in all the rooms uh, that one uh, i think i used oh oh because i okay i'm gonna have to look for this it's in here somewhere. I got it. Hold on. A tip. Is that it? That's it. Because we changed this a little bit. Um, you know what? If I was playing this house, I would probably bring out this wall. This is a little... I would probably bring this out to make the dining room a little bigger. Because when I was playing in this house, I found that that was a little bit too small. So yeah, I'll probably, I'll probably would do this. And the living room was super duper small, as you can see. All right, that one's been redone. What was, what was he? Oh, I see. This is just for aesthetic reasons. Don't forget, we have this. Go all the way around the house. Make sure it goes all the way around. They're doing work on my building, and they're making they're making such a racket right now. All right, I'm just gonna do this. Just get rid of that trim for the time being. Anyway, what was in this room? This one. And I don't think that chair is going to work with this. This is going to have to turn into a single archway. 
Remember I said you can't have archways behind a, a chair? They won't use this chair. No one will ever sit in this chair. So you're going to have to definitely... Hold on. This is going to bug the shit out of me, even though I'm not going to play the actual family. <laughs> That's going to bother me. <laughs> so let's just give them a single archway. The thing about early Strange Town and early Pleasant View is that a lot of the houses that were made um, are not livable. Because he didn't play test them. So you need to change a lot of, especially in uh, Pleasant View, you have to change a lot of the archways. Uh, looks like this bathroom is, I don't know what the flooring was in this bathroom. All the flooring is gone. Do you see this? I'm just going to use the kitchen tile. Now you see how there's like, this, this, you wouldn't be able to use that. So you're just going to have to change the door and put it here. Or maybe you could you could put the door here in the, from the kitchen and move the fridge over. But this makes more sense if this was here. If that makes... Am I making sense? Did somebody just follow me? If so, thank you. Oh, you... Hi, Lord Crumbs, how are you? <laughs> Speak of the devil. I was just talking about your, um, your window wells. Anyway, we're putting the floor back. I'm doing a very quick tutorial on how to bake basements. And I think all the floors have been put back. This, so this looks like it's like a vacant space. There we go. Ooh. <laughs> anyway, please keep in mind that a lot of the early Pleasant View and early Strange Town um, houses are not they're not livable because they were not play tested, which is fine. A lot of custom hoods are like that. They're not play tested. So uh, you're, you are gonna have to be very mindful of uh, archways and doorways that are near chairs. It's just, they're not gonna work. So you have to turn a lot of these double arch, they look good, but they're not practical. So you're gonna have to turn a lot of the double archways into single archways. Make sure that they're steer, steer clear from any uh, chairs and and the reason why they won't use this chair or they wouldn't have used this chair is because they can't pull it back because the, there used to be an archway there in situations like this when you have like a room like that I usually put an archway there because it's not there's no reason to put a door there it's like a it's an open area do you know what I mean and in, and here this is kind of like an ensuite bathroom so I would probably remove that move this over here the sink over here with the tub here something, something like that and then put an archway here there because when it comes to ensuite bathrooms there's really it's kind of silly to put a door there and it just trips up the sims they get you know how they have routing issues and they put their arms up in the air and go oh my god <laughs> no this reduces that it reduces that not having doors open and closed and stuff like that anyway so i put an archway here and an archway there um uh, oh i missed a spot look at that all right, so where are the stairs for this house, gonna, uh, the basement in here? Where, where are we going to put the stairs? Is it going to be another outside entrance? Because he, he has a pretty decent sized house, but I don't know where I would put stairs. I might be able to squeeze in. Hmm. I have to think about this. Just a sec. I might be able to squeeze in a circular staircase here if I move this wall out. I already moved this wall out once. I'm going to have to do it again. There we go. And I'm probably going to have to move this porch out. porch cement. Fuck it. <laughs> oh, I gotta move this tree. Bye-bye, 
tree. I like to give porch, I like to make really big porches for my sims so they don't get tripped up. I don't understand people that make these teeny weeny porches, like a, 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 a two by one porch. And then they don't understand why the paper boy gets stuck while somebody's trying to come out of the house. You need to give them wiggle room. Sims need a lot of wiggle room. You know what, you know what I mean? Because of the routing issue problem and all that. Um, what happened to my wood? There we go. Just do that. Uh, now, we could still actually, we could still do like um, this for aesthetic reasons if you really like that look. Put these tiles back. I don't know why they put so many tiles here on this lot, but they did. I think I did something like that when I was playing this lot. I think I got rid of most of the tiles. There, I think that's what I did. And now you see this lot, how it like goes, it's, it's, uh, goes down like this. Such a pain in the arse to make a, a two-car garage over here. <laughs> There's a trick you can do so that you can have a sloped driveway. Um, I always forget the, the building trick. I always have to re remind myself by looking at the, there's a YouTube video. It, it's pretty old. But there's a couple of, tr there's a couple things you have to do to make the driveway go down. Like on a slope. If that's, if that's what you want to do. All right, so let's just give these guys a door again. This time I'm going to give them a proper front door. That was not a proper front door. There we go. All right, so we could, technically speaking, make this a little bit bigger. If we made this a little bit bigger, I could fit in some stairs, like a, like a circular stair, right about here. It's going to be a tight fit, though. It's going to be a tight fit, but I can do a two-by-two two circular staircase here. Otherwise, we would have to go with an outside staircase, which we just did. And it's not the end of the world to have that, but... Okay. So I am going to have to make this a little bigger. But he's going to need this extra room anyway, unless you want to build a second story. See, we're going to have to, that the roof's all fucked up. But that's fine. You can, fig, you can figure that out later. I don't even like this roof. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> so anyway, you can also do auto roofs too. So anyway, we're not going to worry about the roof because we're not actually playing this family. We are going to make this a little bit bigger though. Just so we can fit in this, this you know, a staircase. Um, hold on. I'm going to put the wall here. I'm going to have to take this out. So I can put a wall here. I just need that more room to put in put in a circular staircase. Put the foundation back. Don't forget when you put the foundation back, keep your index finger on the page down key so you can go up and down like that. Oh, it's me. Oh, did you see that? When I started it at this corner, it's like, nope. But when I started it at this corner, it was like, yep. <laughs> Okay, just want to make sure. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, okay, that's, I'm just eyeballing it. I'm going to put the floors back the way they should be. And now, and now this little tiny living room, which used to be super duper tiny, is much, much bigger. I remember playing this house when before making changes to it it was so freaking crowded every time they would watch tv oh my god it was a nightmare anyway let's 
just want to make sure if I put it here, yeah, they should be able to get past, there shouldn't be any routing issues here. They should be able to get past the, the table to either get in this room or his bedroom. And moving his bedroom door over might be a good idea. I don't know. All right, so let's put it a circular staircase. I try to avoid using them because you can also have routing issues with them, especially when you have like dogs and stuff. I don't know if I want the top of the stairs right here. I might want them here. Like I might want to rotate this. I don't know how I feel about that. Oh, I can't do it that way. Because then, then it comes down like against this wall. Let's rotate it this way and see what happens. Okay, so it would come out this way. So moving this actually would be a really good idea. See that to me is more feasible, if that makes sense. Plus we can get rid of this and have it just completely open. And like I said before, you don't have to use a railing in this situation, although there is a matching railing for these stairs specifically. You could still use uh, a half wall like that if you want. Or you could use one of these like that. And that way you can match the wallpaper. But there is a matching railing for this particular staircase, and it is kind of cute. So we're going to actually use a railing this time, which is something I don't normally do. Where is it? There it is, right there. There we go. So now it's like totally open right here. You could close this. I mean, I could have done this and kept a tile here. You could put a cat tree if you wanted to. There's not much you could put in this corner. But you could put like a little cat tree or a little ficus or something. I don't know. <laughs> or you could just leave it open like I had it, right? So anyway, there's the staircase. It's a bit of a tight fit, but they can get past this table to go into this room or into his bedroom. And now we have a very large downstairs. We could make this, two, I think, two bedrooms or a very large bedroom. Or we could turn it into like, maybe an exercise room and a laundry room, maybe? Like that could be, this could be like a laundry room, sewing room, and this could be like an exercise room. And then you could put like a bedroom over here. I don't know. Do whatever the fuck you want. <laughs> that would be a really large bedroom downstairs. If if we were to make this a bedroom, I'd have they would have to put the bathroom maybe there. And you could fit two kids in there. And this could be a very large family room. And you could put maybe that could be the laundry sewing room. But you could still squeeze in like a mahjong table and a billiards table and maybe a little TV area. So yeah, there's a lot of things you could do with that. So anyway, this house is done. We had to make a few changes to it though. And of course the roof is all funky now. But uh, it was funky before. You know what? Let's just see what the auto roof does. Let's get rid of the roof. In order to do auto roof, you have to get rid of this. I'm just curious to see what auto roof would do with this house. Sometimes it turns out pretty good. Okay, that's nice. I don't like the I don't like the pitch. The pitch is too high, so I would probably turn that to a 35 degree pitch. Um, that's the hipped auto roof. Let's try the short and hipped Bix auto roof. Okay. Ooh, that looks cute. That looks nice. I like that one. Uh, let's try the short gabled auto roof. I think that's what it was before. And here's the tall and short mix auto roof. Okay, that's hideous. I'm sorry. <laughs> I would have to turn that pitch so freaking low. God, that looks awful. I don't know. Which one would you go with? I'd probably 
go with this one, but change the pitch and the roof color. Uh, Honeywell made a lot of great colors for the roof. So anything with an asterisk is a Honeywell roof. We've got, oh, that's actually kind of cute. But since this is supposed to be a desert, you are supposed to be using a light colored roof to, um, for, you know, to keep the houses cool. Or you could use adobe clay. It's also popular. That's why a lot of roofs in the Southwest and Southern California have this orange color because it's made from that clay that has an orange tint to it. Or I, you would use a light colored roof to reflect the sun. Technically speaking, you would not have a brick house. It would, it would probably be too expensive. It would probably be made out of adobe clay or, or something like that, plaster. And it would not be dark. It wouldn't be a dark gray color. It'd be a light color. But anyway, whatever. We, we're done with this house. <laughs> you get the general idea. You have to make changes to the houses. And fitting in a traditional staircase is usually doesn't work. We've only been able to do that once in uh, Olive's house. Uh, we had to put in an outside staircase in the Smith house. And this one had a circular staircase. Uh, there's the Salome house, which turned into the Baker house eventually. Um, that, that's going to have a big basement. And I don't even know if it has a basement currently in it because the Salome's live here. I'm not sure if it's been turned into a torture room yet. So <laughs> let's go back and do it. No stairs on the porch area. Oh, I forgot to put the stairs back. <laughs> <laughs> I had to delete the stairs to pull out the porch. I'm not actually playing the family, so I'm just showing people how to make basements. You just, basically you have to make changes to the house a lot of times in order to make a ba put a basement in. And also then you have to figure out where to put the stairs and what kind of stairs. Are they gonna be uh, like an actual staircase? Are they gonna be modular stairs? Okay, it doesn't look like there's a torture room in this house yet. I love how, how um, Guto Zimmer did this house. Looks so much better than the original. There's Cersei right there. Cersei Salome. Just a kid. A sweet, innocent child. <laughs> but there's no, no torture room yet. So putting a basement in here is pretty straightforward. It'd be, okay, but this is where the torture room eventually will be, I guess. <laughs> But there's, there's no problem with putting stairs inside the house. And there's so many places you could put staircase here. I'm not going to bother doing it because it's kind of, you, you get the general idea how to make a basement. This would just be, this space would be so huge. And it kind of, they don't really need the room. They have this room upstairs. So they actually don't need a basement, to be honest with you. Unless they want to, like, start torturing people. <laughs> anyway. I just wanted to check to see, because it's been a while since I played Early Strange Down. It's been more than a year. So I just wanted to check. So there is, there is where the torture room used to be, I guess. So anyway, let's, let's pick one more house at Early Strange Town. Just one more. I think I'm going to do the Grunt House because it's so skinny. Because skinny houses are a bit problematic. So that's the Vander Morgan house where Lila is. Lila is a teenager. There's the Grunt house. Now, obviously it looks different from the, the original Grunt house, which is a lot skinnier. So this probably wouldn't be problematic. I think it would turn out okay. Now this one, this is where the beakers ended up in this house. This one would be a very small basement. So this might be a bit of a challenge. So let's just go into this. What is this? Oh, that's the cure. Oh, it's the curious house. I'm going to do this one. Because they definitely need a basement with all these kids. <laughs> when I played them, she ended up having three more kids. <laughs> and she married somebody from college. And yeah. Oh, and Pascal uh, ended up dating... Um, Dustin broke. Okay. Let's just take a look at their house. Now let's look at the, the proposed basement here. Well, that one, 
be so bad but where would we put the stairs i don't think we could squeeze an indoor stairs i think it would have to be outdoor stairs again oh i know what i could do i could do circular stairs i'd have to get rid of this one i would have to get rid of this l-shaped staircase and put in two circular staircases so i'd have to like redo that but that's not the end of the world it would give them more wiggle room upstairs so let's go ahead and do that right now. Get rid of the staircase. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna have to put foundation back in order to make a basement. I know it doesn't make any sense, but okay. We're being difficult. I think it's because I haven't deleted everything. Oh, no, I have not deleted everything. I need to get rid of this. There we go. Put this wall back. Okay, that's where the, now the circular staircase has to go here because this will be foundation outside foundation unless I make this wall bigger here and then so yeah the staircase will come out a tiny bit like right here is where you're going to step up and this will probably be like a, a blank space or I could leave it open and put like a window here Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and do the foundation. So page down. Keep your finger on the control key. Make sure that there's, I'm not going to bother doing that because that doesn't, you, what, what would you do with the space in a basement? You wouldn't do anything. You could, might do something with that. Like, a, like you could put the, the nectar bar there or a linen closet. There's no point doing that, but I could do this. This could be like a living room, but not a living room, a laundry room slash sewing area or something. Like this just little area. You don't even have to wall this off. It could just be an open laundry room. That's not a very big basement, by the way. In order to make a bigger basement, you have to make a bigger house. If I was going to actually play this family, I would probably put foundation here and here just to make the basement bigger. As a matter of fact, let's just do that right now. <laughs> oh God. All right. So now we can make it just a, just a tiny bit bigger. Just a tiny bit bigger. Because I have to be honest with you, this house was really hard to play with. I'm going to actually get rid of that. I, pro I probably would make this back porch bigger. Because this room was so freaking small to work with. So yeah, let's just go ahead. Make the back porch bigger. Oh, I see what's going on. Okay, so there's their slightly bigger back porch. Anyway, you get the general idea. All right, let's go to wallpaper. Wallpaper. And then we're going to go to Early Pleasant View. I'm going to do a few houses there. Now, 10 days ago in a live stream, I did the Goth House, and then I did Brady Broke, which drove me nuts. And I was able to figure out how to lower the foundation. Because the foundation has to be normal, a normal size default foundation. The foundation on all the trailers in that part of um, early Pleasant View are too high. And I finally figured out in the stream how to fix that. And I was so happy. <laughs> I was hooting and hollering. <laughs> I'm a cheap date. Doesn't take much to get me all excited. Oh, you see what's going on here? There's tile here. I need to delete that in order to bring this all the way to the 
edge. Okay. We'll just use this flooring for the time being. All right, now we're going to remove the outside perimeter. Oh, would help if I put my finger down on the control key. And just before we do that, I'm going to use this. There we go. So I don't have to go hunting for that later. I also use the modular stairs to lower the grant. Yeah, I know that the modular stair trick. I didn't even know that was a thing until recently. I thought everybody knew this method because, like, as I said earlier before you came in to the stream, um, I, I learned this trick in, I think, 2005, 2006. It was on one of the original Sims 2 websites, the one of the early, earlier ones that were so popular, and it had step-by-step -step instructions on how to make a basement exactly the way I'm showing you right now. So I just assumed, like a dummy, that everybody else saw that. Um, oh, they need money. I'm just going to give them. And then I realized that uh, I might have been the only one that actually picked up on that. <laughs> and I saw other people using the, the modular stair trick, where you use the modular stairs three times. Okay, so we have a basement. I'm going to go back up. Now, as you can see, nothing happened. The Sims are still there. The furniture is still there. Everything's fine. You have to put the flooring back, though. Um, this this room got so crowded with the with the four kids living here. Oh my god, it was a nightmare. Like, as you can imagine, with these two desks in here and people studying and painting and ugh. if you're going to play this family i suggest that you do lots of renovating before you even start playing them <laughs> like straight up <laughs> did this used to be a bathroom was that a bathroom before there's like a vacant space there i'm not sure what's going on Okay, I think all the flooring is back. At least they have a bigger, like, TV room. If we put, like, a door back here. Put, like, a French door so it can let some light in. Ooh, that's pretty. See, look how much more room there's, there is here. I'm not sure what's going on there. So here's another double archway. We're going to have to get rid of that. Because nobody will sit in this chair with that double archway. So when it comes to custom clubs, you just have to be very mindful of the fact that most of them have not been play tested. So if you notice that a family doesn't use certain chairs, like they, let's, it took me forever to figure this out. When I was playing the Burb House in Early Pleasant View, Nobody would sit in the two chairs here. And it took me, I don't know, an hour to realize it's because there was a double archway going into the kitchen behind the two chairs. And that's why they never sat in those chairs. And I, I thought that there was a bug on the lot and I couldn't figure it out for the life of me. Anyway, isn't Vin Kuhn absolutely adorable as a child? Look at him, his little suit. This is so adorable. <laughs> and here is Pascal. Laszlo is a toddler. Aren't they so cute? Anyway, uh, circular staircase. I'm just going to use this one. Okay, so that gives them a lot more room upstairs. Did you see how much room that L-shaped uh, staircase was taking up? That was a lot of room. Anyway, I'm not going to bother putting the railing in. You, you know how to do railings. <laughs> All right, so now... I think I'm going to have to... Hold on. 
Yeah, I'm going to have to actually bring this out a little bit. Oh, I just realized something. I was going to push this forward. I was going to pull this forward. This was going to be a vacant space. It has to come forward because there's a foundation, outside foundation. Now, the only way around that is to bring this out a little bit. It's just this one section of the house. So you could, you could fit it tight with this outside wall. So what we could do, we close this off, and this could be like a weird guest bathroom where you could take this chair out. I don't know why there's a bookcase and chair in the kitchen, but there is. What you could do is have like a door here, a sink here, and a toilet there. I don't know. Or something. It would be a very weird bathroom, but... <laughs> know anyway or you could put like a shower like an extra shower and just one toilet with no sink anyway that's that's the staircase so this has to match and i think the move object cheat has to be on for it to it should it should work see there you go look at that easy peasy lemon squeezy All right. Or you could just completely wall this off altogether. Like, you don't have to put a guest bathroom down here. You know? Or, 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 if you think that's a weird shape, you could do that and put the door here and the sink here and the toilet there. So then it's just like a thing. And this would just be empty space. You could put a pipe in here. You know? Go to the apartment life folder. Pick one of those silly pipes. There you go. <laughs> and and like I said, put a little door here. There we go. There we go. So you have your little, very, very tiny bathroom. <laughs> but you have stairs that go down now. And the stairs upstairs, there's so much more space up here. Uh, you, you remember what the original staircase looked like. It took up so much room that there was just so little room for people to walk through, like just right here. This whole area was like an open staircase. It was kind of, kind of silly. But anyway, it takes up less space. So anyway, that's their basement. Um, guys, you could put in a lot of, you could put in a, a bedroom here. This could be like an open, sort of an open area for the laundry room. Not all the laundry rooms have to be in, like kind of like that, put the washer and dryer here and put like a little sewing area here have like, um, I don't know, a poker table or a TV, a TV room with um, video games. So then this could be just for the adults. I would probably move this couch to over here. Yeah, I'd probably move the couch over there and put the TV on this wall. And just like um, Ichabod Spectre's house, I would put archways here because these are not bedrooms. So I'd put an archway here and an archway there. I usually use archways for for most rooms unless it's a bedroom. Oops, I forgot to put the flooring back in this this bed. Oh, see, there's a little a downstairs uh, thing here. There's already a bathroom here and it's huge. So, you know, I don't know, maybe we could, you know what we could do? Oh my God, I just had a, just had a thought. We just open this up. And, um, I don't know, put something in here. We could put the nectar bar here. Or we could close this off and put like a bar. I don't know, we could just, Maybe put a couple cameras over there. I don't know. Do, do whatever you want. <laughs> but 
The point is, is that you don't have to use every inch of space. You can wall off areas if you want. You know what I mean? You don't, not everything has to be usable. It's the same thing with basement. You don't have to use all of this. Like you could wall this part off and just not use it. It would just be empty space. So it's the same thing with the, the main floor and the upper floor. Not every single square inch has to be utilized. You can wall things off and put pipes in them like I did here. All right, so let's go on to early um, pleasant view. I think we're pretty much done here. Unless you guys want me to do another early strange town house. Speaking out or forever hold, hold your peace. Oh, it was dead space? Okay. I kind of thought that it was, but it's been a while since I played it. So I think that the, the grunt house in this game isn't as skinny. It's wide enough to have a decent size um, basement. I mean, I could do it if you want me to. This house might be a little problematic. This is where the beakers live. It is a little smaller. So I guess I could do it. Let's just, this will be the last one. I'm curious to see what the basement might look like in this house because I never made one when I played this family in this house. They're actually a bin family when you first start this hood, but I think I'm pretty sure I'm 99% sure they were meant to move into this house because it's set up for them. It's got a little girl's room and a boy's room that has space themed stuff like science stuff in it. So it's it they're meant to actually live in this house. So anyway. Let's look at this. Actually, no, it won't be a problem to make a basement here. I'm not going to actually make the basement. I just wanted to take a look. But where would the stairs be? Oh, I knew where the stairs would be. Right here. Right right there. I would have to move this, this though. I would have to move this. I'll probably get rid of the plant. But what I would do is I would... Put the stairs here. This is like, this is negative space. So I would tear down this wall and have the staircase going down, starting here, going down this way. That's what I would do in this house. But that's a pretty, that's a pretty decent sized basement. I think you could only put like maybe one bedroom down there, but I think probably or a guest room like a really small guest room with a pull-out couch there's like a ikea sofa that you can get and what they do is they click on a button like a tv remote and it opens up into a bed instantly it's really cute i love it it's great for guest rooms and offices and small apartments anyway yeah that's doable that that's definitely doable and they don't have to have an outside staircase they could just put it right there like literally put it at the top of this step you might have to delete this this wall and this wall and that wall to put the stairs in. You, you know the drill. <laughs> All right, let's go to early pleasant view. to go to the main menu right all right so i already did the goth house last week on a live i'm going to do it again though and uh, some of the ha a lot of the houses in pleasant view cannot have basements like these condos because they don't have foundations these although technically these are supposed to be trailers on on um a raised like they're supposed to be like those mobile trailers they're not supposed to you're not supposed to be able to put basements underneath but I, I gave them a foundation but the foundation was too high so I had to lower the foundation to actually put in a basement I figured it out though so it's still, I will actually show you that again but these how ha these houses cannot have basements the Langbrook house cannot have a basement because that's that's like floor level. So we can't do that one. We can do the Pleasant Oldie house. 
Um, I think we could do the Bourbon Dreamer House. Anyway, let's do the Goth House again. There's Cassandra as a teenager. Bella's still around. Now, when I played her, she had a lot of extra kids. <laughs> yeah, she's a little baby machine. Anyway, there's Cassandra, there's Mortimer. I really like what Guto Simmer did to this house. Did an amazing job. There's the Elixir of Life. Um, where's Alexander? Alexander's on the floor. Exactly where baby should be. <laughs> where's Bella? Oh, she's on the roof. Of course she is. <laughs> All right. So what I did with this house, so I put the staircase right next to here. So I had to get rid of this furniture. Um, now, as you can see, this is like a double archway again. He really likes double archways. They do make a, a wonderful statement. I mean, aesthetically, they're very nice, but they can be problematic. So anyway, that's where the stairs are going to be. A very straightforward basement. I'm going to actually toggle the day mode so I can see what I'm doing. Control key. Oops. This is where I put the bathroom. I forget what I put over there. Anyway. Wallpaper. Any wallpaper with a border or, um, a baseboard, I should say. My cat is snoring very loudly. <laughs> I don't know what's going on there. Oh, I went down too low. Oh, nope, that's not going to work. There we go. All the way to the edge. Nice large bathroom. I think I put two bedrooms here. This was the shared bathroom, and I don't know what the fuck I put. Probably a laundry sewing room. Yeah, that's probably what I did. And I remember there was a billiards table here and a poker table. It was pretty, it was pretty sweet. They had a nice setup down here. All right. We're going to choose this flooring. All right, hold down the control key. Wait a second. Where's, okay, we're going to do like this little thing. Use the eyedropper, put in that. So we have to go looking for it again. Oh my goodness. Uh, I suppose I could have put the foundation out a little here. Like that. I don't know what I would have done. I don't know what I would do with that space. I don't think that's what I did originally. I think I just left that like this. But I'm going to do it anyway. I'm going to get rid of the outside perimeter. Hold down the control key. Go all the way around. Remember, remember, sometimes you have to get rid of stairs, bushes, flower beds. So far, I have not had to do that. Which is awesome, but I don't understand why. I haven't run into that problem yet, so I don't know. Okay. 
put the drywall up around the perimeter. Don't forget it can get trickier around bay windows and uh, diagonal diagonal foundations. But don't despair. Just fiddle around with it. You'll figure it out. All right, let's put the foundation back. Don't forget you have to keep your index finger on the page down key. It keeps, it keeps wanting to jump up to the main floor, courtesy of the apartment life. Which apartment life broke a lot of things. But I don't understand why it broke that. Uh, uh, you know what I mean? Like, how did they manage to break that in apartment life? I don't know. But it was working. It didn't jump up like this in free time. Because I remember making basements. And then all of a sudden, apartment life comes along. And boom. It, started, it would just pop up to the main floor like that. Okay, so now they have a basement. We're going to put the foundation paint back go all the way around. I think, oh, no, I missed a spot. Okay. All right, let's give them stairs. Wait, first of all, we need to put the flooring back. I think the flooring is the same in all the rooms. Yeah, pretty sure it's the same, except of course the kitchen and the bathrooms. sure I'm gonna have to get rid of this wall and that tile if I if I recall there we go <laughs> now I have to put the wall back up of course you would put the wallpaper back back in there but I'm not gonna bother doing that anyway I think in this particular situation I will use this this one Or you could put in a railing or a half wall. What would the half wall look like? That looks okay. I don't know if this family, I don't know because this house is so, what is going on over here? It always, oh, it's because this chair is here. And probably this isn't helping too. That's probably not helping. There, this should really be a single archway. Let's just put a single archway in here. Yeah, like that. At least we could put this table back. Anyway, you get the general idea. All right, so there's the staircase going down. They could have, like I said, I'm pretty sure I put two bedrooms. I always do that. Like that. I think what I did was I put in two closets. And this became, I forget what this became. I don't think it was a line. I think this was the laundry sewing room. So this must have been the bathroom that they shared. And this, this had a pretty nice, they had a pool table here. And um, a poker table, a stereo, a bar. It's pretty swanky down here. And you can do all kinds of things with this. Anyway, 
That's the goth house. And he did a really good job, in my opinion. I love this little area over here. That looks really nice. Um, there's no garage, though. So what I did was I did use the log adjuster and gave him extra space over here. And uh, gave him a garage. I think, it, I think I gave him one over here. Because I didn't want to touch this area. This area looks so nice. The little park, park area, I guess you could call it. So yeah, I put the garage over here. Anyway, let's go to another house. to the Pleasant House only because it has, I believe it has angles. So this is a really large lot, which I thought was really ingenious on his part. This is where Coral and Herb live. Coral is still um, capable of having children in this timeline. So she ended up having twins um, with Herb, who is an elder. But anyway, they live in this house. It's kind of an interesting situation. And she turned out to be gay. So she left Daniel and the twins and she moved into an apartment. And I forget who she married. She married somebody. Anyway, it was an interesting uh, chain of events that happened. <laughs> I thought it was actually kind of cool. Okay. Oh, it's dark again. Okay, so this is their little house. They have a pretty big bedroom. All right. Actually, their basement wouldn't be as big as I thought it would. I thought their basement would be a little bigger, but it's going to be a standard size basement in my opinion. But but the but the interesting thing is where are we going to put the stairs? Oh, I know where to put the stairs right here next to these stairs so i would have to move this door over a little bit yeah this door would have to be moved over and the stairs would go here and we'd have to get rid of that what is the pro oh it's the balloons there we go so that's where the stairs would be do you guys want me to actually make it like, I thought there was angles on this house, but I was wrong. Well, there are some angles here in the bay window, but that's it. Let's just do it really quickly. Hold down the control key. So we have to be a little careful here because there's like this little, you know what I would probably do in this situation is get rid of these bushes and just put a foundation here. That's what I would do. Because you have all this space now that you can do that with. So I made a few changes there. Just You have to keep one tile perimeter all the way around. Now we could do this. Near, uh oh, did, I don't like that. It's too close to the bay window. That should be fine. You see how it's like a triangle? That should be fine. We shouldn't have an issue there. It's probably going to end up being dead space, but at least it'll be there in case you change your mind in the future. It'll, and you, you know, you figure out what you can do with that space. Same thing with this. This will probably turn into a dead space unless you can figure something. Like maybe put a bar there or some bookcases. Who knows? I don't, I don't know. Uh, all right. Let's wallpaper. Maybe we should try a different wallpaper. Maybe we should try something with a white baseboard. Never done that before. <laughs> I like to live dangerously. <laughs> Let's go for it. I'm in a mood. <laughs> I swear, in all the years I've been doing this, I've never used a wallpaper with a white baseboard. I don't know why. I just decided in, in my brain that it's it was best to have a dark one, but I don't think it really matters. Because look, I just made it. It's fine. All the way up to the edge. 
Oh, okay, you see what's going on here? I can't go up to that edge. And I don't know, I think it's the, mm, I could go up here. I think that triangle, or maybe it's the flowers. I don't know. If I got rid of the flowers, would it help? I don't think it would. Oh, it did work. Oh, I got rid of those little flowers and it worked. I don't know if it's worth it though. I don't know if it's worth it, you guys. Do we really need this space? Because I don't know, are we going to be able to put the flowers back? I don't think we will. I'm very conflicted right now. I'm going to do this. I'm going to not have this space right here. I'm just going to put the foundation back. There we go. All right. Anyway, we're going to keep flattening this out, leveling the terrain, going right up to the perimeter. All right, it looks flat. I'm just going to choose the whatever flooring's on the main floor. Get rid of the, the outside perimeter now. Hold down the control key. So, so far of all the houses we've done, we've only had to do one outside entrance, which kind of surprises me. Maybe we'll find another house. Oh, well, well if we do Brandy Broke, okay, we're going to have to toggle the daytime mode. <laughs> I can't see what I'm doing here. <laughs> I cannot tell you how many times I have been watching other people build in The Sims 2, and they didn't know you could toggle day and night mode. The great thing about tog toggling it to night mode is when you're putting lights in your house, you should really toggle the night mode so you can see how the lights are going to light up inside your house to see if they're strong enough. Ooh, they're, they're going to need money. Hold on. Oh, there we go. Now we have to put the foundation back. Uh, you see, I didn't have to put like a temporary, normally I would do this and do a temporary foundation and take the foundation, put it on there, but we didn't get rid of this part of the foundation, so it's fine. Anyway, let's put the outside perimeter back. Don't forget, keep your uh, index finger on the page down key. Did you see that? I went I went this way and it didn't like it. But I went this way and it was fine. Don't freak out if it turns red like that when you're putting the foundation back. Just try to, to, to draw the foundation from a different angle or a different corner. That's usually what the problem is. Okay, I think I did it properly. So we're just gonna take the eyedropper and do this. Go all the, make sure it goes all the way around. Ooh. All right, that's good. I'm gonna put the stairs in. Well, first of all, I'm going to put the floor back. I think the floor is the same in here. Yep. Yeah. Ooh, not there, though. That's the kitchen. I think that's how it was done. And this was that ugly green carpeting. Actually, I would say that's a mallard blue. I would say that's green. It's like definitely a, a teal color. Okay, we're going to do the very large master bedroom. Okay. I'm probably going to 
have to break down that wall. Oh, I didn't have to break down. I am shocked I didn't have to break that wall down. I am shocked that the stairs went right in. Wow. <laughs> anyway, there's their basement. God knows what you could do with this one. I don't know what you could do. I don't even know if you could put bedrooms down here. Um, cause the stairs are going down in this direction. If you wanted, if you wanted to have bedrooms, they would probably have to go here, which means the stairs would have to go in the opposite direction. If that makes sense. Or you could put in circular staircase that goes up to the second floor and down to the basement. You could do that as well. That would make more sense. So you could you could have that option. You could do whatever you want. You could put up a, a wall. It doesn't have to be a half wall or a railing. You could just put up an actual just wall like that. Who knows? You could do whatever you want. Have fun. I don't know what I would do. I did not give them a basement when I played them. Believe it or not. <laughs> I didn't think it was necessary. Uh, these guys, I don't think it would be worth, I don't think that they would have a basement anyway, but it would be so freaking small, there'd be very little you could do down there. And it's a guest house anyway, guest house usually don't have basements. So anyway, there's the Pleasant House. They have their little staircase. And we didn't have to do too many renovations, we just had to move the door. I think in the grand scheme of things, I would probably switch to circular staircase for both the upstairs and the downstairs and just stack them. And that way, if you stack them and the stairs go out this way, you could put in two bedrooms here. You could put up a wall and put a wall between this and have two pretty fair sized bedrooms down there. I mean, there's, they have nice bedrooms upstairs. Like there's a little office up here. And the girls share a room. You know what I mean? That's a pretty big room that they share. All right, let's see. Let's see what other house we can play around with. We can't do the Langrix. Can't do any of the condos. I think I'm going to do two more and then end the stream. I don't want to be too long. I'm almost at two hours. Okay. It feels like I've been almost at two hours. I'm good though. I've got a glass of water with me. All right. So we did that house. I'm going to do the, the broke house again, and I'm going to show you how to lower the foundation. So when I did this in a live stream, it was driving me freaking crazy. Um, but I realized how to fix it. So I'm going to show you how to fix it. So a basement, if you want to put in a basement, it has, the foundation has to be like the default foundation height. If you have a house on a foundation that's higher, uh, you have to lower it to make a basement. At least with the method I use. All right, so. Daytime. Now, you see how it's on stilts? Because it's supposed to be like a... A mobile home. So the first thing you have to do is give them a cement foundation. Like so. Including the porch. That has to be cement. And we're going to let this part stick out. We're not going to be concerned with that. That's the first thing. The second thing, you see how it's slightly higher than normal? That's why I couldn't make a basement. It was driving me crazy. I thought that the lot was buggy. But no, it has to be lowered a little bit. <clears throat> Get rid of all these freaking trees. I can see what I'm doing. Yeah, this will be the last, the last house. I'm gonna get rid of these trees in the front too. Right, I'm gonna save. 
<laughs> just just in, in case things go pear-shaped. <laughs> All right, go back to the build menu. Now I have um, a startup cheat file that has aliases. So when I put in cheats, I just use one of my aliases. Now, if you want to use my aliases, all you have to do is go to my Discord. I've already had several people download this file and use it, and they're very happy with it. Okay, you have to go to my uploads. Okay, this is my user startup cheat file. So you just click on this and what happens is it'll open up your browser and it will download the file. And then you have to put this in your config folder. You can change any of the cheats you want. If you don't like my cheats, just change, like uh, Numerities has already changed several cheats. So whatever makes sense in your brain, go ahead and, and change it to that. So you don't, you don't have to be stuck with the, the startup uh, cheats as well. You can get rid of them or add to them. But this, this is, um, it has a lot of the shortcuts for a lot of the very long cheats, so you don't have to type them out every single time. Anyway, uh, so in order for me to do the elevation sheet, all I have to type in is ELEV. So that's all I have to type in. I don't know what the original cheat is, so I don't know how, I don't know what to say. I'll use my own file with the testing cheats enabled so that cheat works. And, oh, <laughs> some TNA cheat works. Yeah. All right, so the elevation cheat is on now. Now, as you can see, this is how high up the foundation is. We want to lower it to that. See what just happened? Just want to make sure that this is done. Okay, now the front part of the house is not done. And now it's done. It should be completely done. Now you can get rid of this thing. Well, first of all, I need to remove the cheat, which is ELEV minus. But like I said, you can come up with your own system. Whatever, whatever makes your brain happy. All right, so we're going to do an outside uh, entrance here. But first of all, we need to actually make the basement. Uh, I need to get rid of this. This is an outside awning. I like the concept of an outside awning, I really do. But the problem is, is when you when you put the walls down, it doesn't get rid of the awning, which drives me crazy. So I like awnings because I grew up in the in the 70s, there was awnings everywhere. We had awnings in our house in Toronto. But it's just because they don't disappear with the walls down, it kind of interferes a little, just a tiny bit. <laughs> All right. And you know the drill, Contro hold down the control key. This basement's gonna be teeny weeny, but we can put in two small bedrooms. Uh, right now, um, Dustin is a kid and Bo has not been born yet. When I played this family, she had two girls and then she had Bo. <laughs> so that's why I love the early, the early uh, hoods. And I'm hoping that he will come back just long enough to finish early Veronaville because he, he said he was done with the cap side and he was starting on the Monty side when he decided to quit. Now, I know he's a teenage boy and he probably just decided he needed a break from it, but I hope he comes back long enough just to finish that. Anyway, <clears throat> you could put two bedrooms here and a bathroom here and a little kitchenette area for the boys and maybe like a little, I don't know, a little area for them to sit and chill. And I put the outside entrance here Wallpaper. Let's do it. Let's do another one. That's slightly different. I don't know if this one would work. 
Does this have a base board? It does. But it's white on white, and that might fuck, fuck me up. <laughs> that has no base board at all. We can't use that one. We'll do this one. <laughs> if he doesn't do it now, he probably won't do it later. That's true, but he is a teenage boy. He's, uh, he's, well, he was 15, so he must be 16 by now. Um, and you know how teenage boys are. He might come back to it. I'm sure he's been getting emails and messages when he sort of fell off the, the earth. But his last message was that he was starting to work on the Monty side. And he was getting stuck on something. I forget what he was being stuck on, but it's some kind of architectural feature or something. I don't know. Who knows? But I don't blame him for wanting to take a break. He, he did so much work on the other two. But it, it, see, the thing is, is that it's, it's almost done. He said it's almost done. So that, that might actually bug him just enough to come back briefly just to finish it. I'm hoping. Fingers crossed. All right. I don't think these guys, I don't think this uh, trailer had any break, like actual flooring there. I think there was some flooring in the kitchen. I don't think they use this flooring for like all, all the whole area. For some reason there's flooring missing in this house and I don't know why, except in the kitchen part. Anyway, we're gonna use this flooring because that, that was what's in the kitchen and I'm too lazy to go look for something else. Uh, all right, now we're gonna do the outside perimeter, hold down the control key. So, uh, once again, to sum it up, if the house is on stilts, like it's supposed to be like a mobile home or a trailer, give it a solid foundation. And if it's not a pro if it's not the standard height, the default height, you're going to have to lower it like I just showed you. It took me like an hour and a half to figure that out. <laughs> of course they're broke. Of course they need money. Basements are not cheap. I'm going to tell you that right now. They're not cheap in real life either. They account for one third of the total cost of a house in Canada. So now a lot of people are no longer building basements to save on money. So that's going to be their shared bathroom. That's going to be a kitchenette. That's their small bedrooms. But at least they get to have their own bedrooms though. And if they have any girls, they can stick the girls upstairs in this room. Okay, outside entrance. Well, first of all, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Let's put the foundation back. Screw it. Let's just do the whole floor in this. <laughs> we'll just do. I don't know what happened to the flooring in this house. It disappeared somewhere anyway. That's not what the original flooring was. I can tell you that. So let's do an outside entrance because there's no way in hell we'll be able to put stairs inside that house. So we'll probably put it the door here. If we put the door here, we can have like a little TV area here. That's where we're going to put the door. I think if the door is here, we put the stairs here. If 
we can, yeah, let's try to put stairs there and see what happens. No, it's, I, I want a two by two square. I'm gonna go a little bit farther back. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, I went too far back. Well, when I put the stairs up at the top, it looked like the, okay, that was, okay, that's not where the stair, the last stair was. That was where the landing was. Okay, let's just go back. I'll do this again. There we go. That's the look I want. Now, I tried using Lord Crop's uh, window wells with outside staircase, and it was it was a little tricky. I didn't like the way it turned out because it had like a space here and i didn't like that but we could use that I'll, sh I'll show you what i mean oh wait a second hold on i think i messed up no i want door um, I'm actually going to put in sliding door. There we go. Anyway, um, I need to fiddle around more with the, the Lord Crump's window wells in terms of the outside entrances. They work great for window wells, but... That's the retaining wall. Window wall right, retaining wall right, right, middle. That's left. See, I don't think this is going to work. I think I'll just use the T budget one. I'm going to use the T budget one. I have to fill it. I'm going to have to fiddle around with that a little bit more. Oh wait, it's under it's under counters or surfaces, miscellaneous. I have to do a little more experimentation. I will just... Oh my god, this is such a pain in the arse. Hold on. It's very tricky. So I think if I use the window wells, I would have to bring this out a little bit more, like level the train a little bit more, and then there would be like empty space here, which is fine, but the, the window wells would be here, if that makes sense. At least they, that's what was happening when I tried it the one time. Like I said, I'm gonna have to fiddle around with it a little bit more. And the same drill applies this time as well. You can put up a fence here, a little wrought iron fence, some bushes, or you can turn this into pavement. If you want to turn it into pavement. Cement. This could all be cement. Doesn't have to be brown dirt. I would put up a fence though. Because in the real life you would you would probably have bylaws making sure that you throw a fence here so people didn't go ass over tea kettle into the into this area <laughs> anyway that's the outside entrance i'm just going to do this i'm going to go back to that because it's going to bother me there we go anyway that's the outside and this is where dustin and Bo are going to go if Bo even exists in this alternate uh 
time frame. It took, it took her a while to have another boy. <laughs> she kept having girls, and then she finally had fun. Anyway, so yeah, they could have a, an at-home business down here. You know, she could, like, when the boys go off and start their own families, she, she could, and the girls, if she has any, uh, she could turn this into a at-home business. Like, like most people in Canada, when their kids grow up, they turn their basements into apartments and rent them out to university students, or they're also called in-law suites here in Canada. That's what they used to be called. So you'd put your in-laws in there. And then when your in-laws died, then you would rent them out to college students. So yeah, people make extra money by turning them into basement apartments. Anyway, that's that's the house. So you have to lower the foundation. First of all, you need to give them a foundation. Make it cement foundation. And then once you make it cement, you have to do a foundation here. Turn on the elevation sheet and go all the way out this way. And then you can make your basement, as you can see. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Okay, that's it. That's how to make basements. Uh, if you guys want me to do more basements in different hoods, let me know, and I will do a part two. Um, I actually did basements in Eileen Landing, which was the Uber hood I played like last year for six or seven months. And some of the houses in, in Eileen Landing are very, have lots of diagonals, and some of the basements were very funky. <laughs> let me tell you, it was a lot of fun though. It was, it was um, challenging, and I love a challenge. Most of these basements are pretty straightforward. Uh, I would like, if you guys have an Uber, like not an Uber hood, a custom hood that has a lot of houses that you think I would, that would be challenging for me, let me know and I'll download it and I'll try to make basements. Uh, I can also show you guys how to, to make the window wells if you want. Uh, I could do that in, in a different stream. So anyway, I'm going to get going. Uh, they're doing work on my apartment building right now. So I think they're about to hit my apartment. So I, I need to get off. They're turning the water off in the building for several hours. So <laughs> You're, you guys are lucky I actually came on today. Also, I'm not feeling well. So <laughs> I was this close to canceling. I decided to come on and show you how to make basements. It's pretty straightforward. Sometimes you have to do a little extra uh renovation work to make it work you know and sometimes you're going to have to switch from a regular staircase to a circular staircase and and stack them sometimes you have to make an outside uh staircase um so there's different things you can do depends on the house and how big it is and all that other stuff hi heritage you're welcome anyway i'm gonna get going guys uh, I will see you Friday. And don't forget, if you want me to do more basements, let me know and I will do more basements. And I can show you how to do window wells next time. Anyway, I'll see you guys later. Bye!